replay official confirmed the ruling on the field. Michael Elisa did in fact fumble. Boise State recovered on the one. And the Broncos have an opportunity to make it a two possession game. DJ Harper hit in the backfield, lost a yard. Ziggy Hansa has had a very good night getting into the Boise State backfield. You can see Boise State trying to run the football to the right side of their offensive line. That's where Ethan Manu Malayuna normally is lined up. Of course, right now he's out of the game. They're trying to find a weak spot, a chicken that armor up front for BYU. Second and goal. Back to Harper. Harper hitting the backfield. And BYU's defense in two plays has not Boise State back two yards. is now third and goal. And one thing, if you watched BYU in Utah last week, you'll realize is that BYU didn't have any quit in them. They were down. They looked out last week against Utah, down 10 points late. And they kept fighting. This team's going to keep fighting. It's a big third down right here. Still got a chance. I know your offense has been absolutely dreadful all night, but you still got to do your job defensively. This is a huge third down if you're Boise State. If you score here, you might close the door. Southwick to Harper. Harper going toward the end zone, driving, and he is stopped short. Fourth and goal coming for the Broncos. Spencer Hadley coming up with Daniel Sorensen. Wow. On the field, they have ruled Harper stopped short of the plane. Southwick just getting the football out quick, putting it in the hands of their best playmaker, allowing him to go try and do something. He's yeah. down. He's so, short. It's kind of weird that the ball never crosses the line. They're going to go for it. Attitude football, statement football here. Well, wow. Fourth and goal, and Mendenhall calling a timeout. Trying to fire up his defense, and what an unbelievable stop this would be if BYU could get it. Jesse, you mentioned it. The way BYU's offense is played, another touchdown might put this game out of reach. Uh, not realistically, but, you know, the way they've played, not a lot of confidence that they can score. What do you expect to see from the defense <laughs> I, I, in this play? I was just going to say, you know, this is where you wish you had Kellen Moore again and you had <laughs> yeah. Doug Martin again and you had, you had some of these big playmakers because this could be automatic. With Joe Southwick, with some of the decision-making they've had deep down this area of the field today, it's not necessarily that. Remember, this is a very, very physical defense from BYU. It's not a gimme. You're just going to line up no. and bowl them over. Yeah, I think there's a lot There's a lot of questioning right now if you're Robert Prince, the offensive coordinator. When you stop them three times, David, the way they have so far, what's it like on defense out there trying to come up with that fourth down stop? Well, you're jacked out of your mind right now. I mean, you, you're, you've got a lot of momentum, and you should. You've done your job really all game. I kick it. There's, I, I go up by two possessions. I feel like this ball game's out of it. You make sure you honor the quarterback sneak with the big guys Fourth inside. and goal, Southwick pushing toward the plane, and he does not get there. Does not get there. Kyle Van Noy. What a series for the Cougars in the, right on the doorstep. That could be the defining moment of this football game for BYU, and head coach Bronco Mendenhall knows it. Even though they've turned the football over five times, their defense keeps them in the game. Tremendous push up front, right at the point of attack. And there's their best playmaker on defense, Kyle Van Noy, cleaning up the pocket on the outside, coming from the backside, and ensuring that Joe Southwick does not get in the end zone. Give some love to big Romney Fungo on the inside, too, stuffing that back. He's a huge man. Doesn't get a lot of credit, but he's a big dude in there stuffing it up. 100 yards on the night. Last time, Boise State got it. They got it on the one and couldn't punch it in. It would have been so easy for BYU to quit at this point of the game. You've just pulled your starting quarterback. You have a fumble on your own one-yard line. Yet you come out, you fight, you win at the point of attack, and you keep yourselves in this game.